Hello commanders, welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Today we are gonna take a look at the Eagle. The Eagle is the first dedicated fighter you can buy. It has some really nice speed and it's quite maneuverable and that makes it perfect for hunting down wanted criminals. If you wanna pursue the profession of bounty hunter then this is the first ship you should be looking at. The Eagle defenses are not the best but this is because it relies mostly on its speed. Its cost is at 44.8k credits and it will be a nice practice for you if you want later to jump into a Viper. Now let's go into outfitting and take a better look of the ship. As we can see the available power of the Eagle is only 6.4, not uh, the best, its car capacity is only 2 tons, that means that it's not the best uh, trader or hauler, you should uh, take a look at other ships if that's what you wanna do. Its fuel capacity is quite normal, 4 tons, and uh, of course it has a really nice jump rate, 8.47 light years and 8.27 light years laden, that means it could be a nice starting exploration ship. If we take a look at uh, the hard points, it has uh, three small hard points, uh, which means that it can uh, carry quite a firepower. You can choose what weapons you should uh, equip on it, but uh, you should be careful of the power available. It's uh, really low, so if we would like to add an extra pulse laser up here, uh, you can see that uh, the power won't permit us. We will have some problems. So you will either have to equip a new power plant and increase the available power or choose some other weapons. Let's take a look at the internals. There aren't uh, a lot of options here. Uh, the basic uh, defenses, power plant, thrusters, frame shift driver, life support, power distributor, sensors and fuel tank. And of course there is a shield generator and cargo rack and a basic discovery scanner. You could remove uh, the seal generator and the basic discovery scanner and uh, add uh, some more cargo racks to turn this uh, little fighter into a small hauler, but I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, it's uh, not the best ship for that job and uh, you should really look at some other ships. Uh, also the available cargo racks for the Eagle are not uh, that high, only 8 capacity is the maximum. So yes, you should be avoiding using the Eagle as a dedicated trading ship. Now, because the Eagle starts with a nice jump range, it can perform uh, excellent as a starting exploration ship. Of course, you could increase this jump range by removing the shield generator, but I wouldn't recommend it if you are new to the game. Uh, first, you should uh, get familiar with the ship and how it moves, and later, if you still uh, want to remove the shield generator, then uh, by all means go ahead. You should though remove the weapons if you want to increase uh, this jump range and uh, if we sell them both this will increase our jump range into 8.89 light years and 8.67 uh, light years laden. That's a really nice range, it's not a big difference from uh, having the pulse lasers. It's up to you if you want to keep them or remove them. I would uh, keep them if I was new to the game, just in case uh, I have to defend myself or there is an undefined signal source uh, on my way and I want to check it out. The Eagle comes equipped with a basic discovery scanner which has a nice uh, little range of 500 light uh, seconds and uh, it's quite good for starting uh, to do some exploration, finding uh, some new planets and uh, making a profit at start. Of course it's not the best scanner for making exploration your full profession, you will later want to advance into other ships. If we try our discovery scanner and uh, let's see if we can find something around and we have discovered one new astronomical object. Let's go take a look at it and uh, make some more money. The thing with the basic discovery scanner is that uh, you have to use it all the time and uh, pray for finding something uh, new to explore, to scan and go back to your station or some other station, sell the data and make some profit. Its uh, purpose is only there for you to begin exploring and see if you like it and want to continue with it. What makes the Eagle a perfect starting exploration ship is its a very nice speed and of course the fact that it doesn't narrow your view, you can observe around and uh, discover moving objects like the two we are looking over there, that way discovering new planets and uh, making money out of exploration. Let's uh, go and uh, take a look at these two new moving objects we found without using our uh, basic discovery scanner. There it is, you can see two new planets moving in the background, three actually. 
and uh, this is why the Eagle is a perfect exploration ship. Here is the first. We can use the Discover Scanner to to make sure there is something. There you are. And we can of course analyze it. Of course the Eagle as an exploration ship has uh, its limitations. If uh, there are bodies uh, very far away from your starting location in the system, it will be very difficult to discover them with uh, only the basic discovery scanner and uh, your observation of course. It's a nice ship to start uh, exploring with but uh, if uh, you want to continue later then you should jump into another ship that can uh, carry more advanced equipment uh, such as the detailed surface scanner and of course a uh, needle mediate or even an advanced scanner. Nonetheless it's uh, an excellent starting point. Taking advantage of the wide uh, view you have from the cockpit of the Eagle and of course the basic discovery scanner will start netting you some profit from exploration and uh, it's a quite a nice uh, introductory ship to start doing uh, this uh, awesome profession in Elite Dangerous. If you continue like this eventually you would like to upgrade your ship and uh, this is because uh, you will need a better discovery scanner and of course the detailed surface scanner and uh, equipping uh, the Eagle with uh, modules that have uh, three four times the cost of the ship itself it's just not logical. But let's go ahead and take a look at the combat capabilities uh, of the Eagle. When you first buy it it comes equipped with two pulse lasers and if you want to equip a third one then uh, this is gonna be a problem because the available power is not that good. So you have two options, either change the weapons you are using or increase the power, the available power with of course upgrading your power plant. The best and easier thing to do is uh, to equip some uh, multi cannons and these are quite nice, I will choose uh, the gimbal multi cannons. You can equip three of G1 uh, gimbal multi cannons without any problem, you can equip all three of them without uh, going uh, out of power but uh, we are literally using all of our power like this. The great thing about uh, multi cannons is that uh, they are doing quite a lot of damage and uh, they can uh, go through shields really fast and start of course uh, delivering some really really big hits on the hull of the enemy ship. And if we combine this with uh, the eagle speed it uh, creates a very fearsome uh, adversary in the battlefield. Look how fast we took down that little hauler. Of course the speed of the eagle helps a lot uh, with uh, dealing with enemies. You don't want to be in front of them and uh, brawl with them. You want to get fast behind them and uh, start delivering the hits. This way you will survive and uh, start uh, amassing some really nice credits from Baudis. It's a really nice uh, fast uh, fighter that can help you increase your balance and uh, start making enough money for you to progress into the next ship of your choice. It is also a really nice ship to practice yourself if you wanna later uh, jump into a Viper because they are both working the same way, they both rely on their speed and uh, their agility. Eagle has a better agility than the Viper of course, but uh, they work uh, in a similar way. With its speed it can get behind uh, enemy ships, one criminals or whoever you want to attack uh, very fast and uh, stay behind it until you can destroy it. Multicans of course are perfect for this role and uh, they will help uh, new pilots to understand the basics of combat without uh, losing a lot of ammunition and uh, waste their shots in general. The only real drawback with uh, multi cannons is that they use ammunition and every now and then you will have to pay to replenish them. Other than that they are a pretty nice weapon that can uh, destroy small ships uh, very easily. And this is why if you are not familiar with combat and uh, you don't want to spend some money on uh, replenishing your ammunition all the time then uh, you should stick with the pulse lasers, the default loadout of the ship, uh, give this a try and see how it fares for you. Lasers are good against shields but they can also do a lot of damage in uh, the hull of the ships. They need power so you have to let them uh, replenish and uh, then fire again. 
Obviously the best targets for an eagle are small ships like uh, sidewinders, other eagles, others, haulers and such but you can uh, always attack uh, heavy ships like this uh, transport uh, 7 type 7 uh, by staying behind them and uh, destroy them slowly. It is very easy to use the eagle speed to go behind the enemy ships and uh, stay behind them and of course getting the bounties. Nice little bounty. Obviously two pulse lasers are uh, okay for when you start but later you wanna increase the amount of your weapons, put a third laser up there if you wanna play like this and uh, not uh, wasting any money on ammunition. Another wanted side one, let's take him out. So in order to do this you will have to upgrade your power plant and uh, put an extra laser weapon up there. Of course it's up to you what kind of uh, weapons you want to carry. My favorites are uh, the multi cannons because they can do a lot of damage and they don't rely so much on power. They give you so much space to play but lasers are good enough as well. Let's take down that sidewinder. Oh no, don't go. Can we make it? So close. Yep, we made it. Oh, why? <laughs> okay, that was strange. Anyway, these things happen. With the zero hull, he escaped. A third laser will have helped us a lot. That extra pulse laser will have uh, helped us in killing that sidewinder before <laughs> escaping. I still believe that was weird, escaping with the zero hull, but oh well. There's also an utility mount where you can equip whatever you want. Uh, a kill warrant scanner is uh, always a nice addition if you want to get that extra bounty out of wanted criminals. But uh, there's also other options uh, depending what kind of combat you wanna do. It is a nice uh, little ship and uh, you could always uh, go out there as a pirate uh, killing trade ships and demanding to surrender you their cargo. The good thing about uh, upgrading an eagle is that uh, the upgrades aren't really that expensive so you can have a lot of power immediately with uh, just uh, a small investment. You can choose to use any weapon type you like. My personal favorite are the multi cannons because of the insane damage they do to the hull of the enemy ships and they help you a lot uh, to take down enemies fast. This is the Little Eagle, a dedicated fighter in Elite Dangerous. It comes with a little uh, power but you can upgrade it in order to gain more and uh, make it into a deadly little uh, ship. It can also of course perform as a starting exploration ship, it's an excellent uh, first ship if you would like to do some exploration because of its uh, speed and uh, the view from the cockpit. I wouldn't recommend it for trading and hauling around stuff, uh, its uh, cargo is only 2 tons and uh, I wouldn't uh, remove them either because there are many new missions that uh, require you to go out there to find certain items and get them back to the station so two tons are uh, good for the job but uh, I wouldn't uh, try to increase it and uh, turn this into a, a nice little hauler. This was the Eagle especially effective in uh, combat. Thank you very much for joining me watching this video. I'm Scoot of Love, fly safe commanders and I will see you next time. Bye bye.